And when there came to them that book, in brackets, the Holy Quran from Allah Almighty, confirming the book that was with them, in brackets, the Torah, and that before they used to entreat Allah Almighty for victory over the infidels. In brackets, through the medium of the Holy Prophet, Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam. And when they actually came to them, they said, Prophet whom they recognized, they rejected him outright. So the curse of Allah will be upon those who reject faith. And in the commentary it is mentioned, the word verification or affirmation in this verse means that it is the Holy Quran which has verified the authenticity of these revealed books. Like the Torah in brackets, Old Testament, the Injil in brackets, New Testament, etc. Because they had prophesied the coming of the Holy Quran. And all these prophecies became true after its revelation. It also means that the Holy Quran was, was responsible for advocating that all these books are indeed revealed books of Allah Almighty. Because if it was not for the Quran, the world would have not known the truth of these books. Although Allah Almighty had sent approximately 124,000 prophets, Allah and His beloved Rasul know best the number. For the guidance of man only, those names are remembered which are mentioned in the Holy Quran, circumstances of its revelation. Whenever the people of the book, in brackets, the, the true Yahud and Nisara had fought with the heathens, they would always pray for their victory and success by seeking the mediation of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. O Allah Almighty, grant us success for the sake of the final Prophet Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And Allah Almighty would always make them victorious. The previous revealed books and the prophets had all proclaimed the coming of the final prophet. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In this verse, these people of the book are reminded by Allah Almighty that first you would pray through his blessed name. But now that he has come into the world, you are rejecting his prophethood. This verse makes it clear that seeking the wasila in brackets, intercession and the mediation of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam is an old practice of the previous nations. And those who reject this mediation are worse than the Yahud and the Nisara. Also the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam Mediation was the source of fulfillment of people's desires from time of immoral. The word him in brackets refers to the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Because when any being is discussed or mentioned, 
with its attributes, the word him is used therewith. Says Allah Almighty in the translation of the glorious Quran, Surah 4, verse 22, and do not marry those women whom your fathers have married. Further, it can be inferred that the previous non-believers must have prayed through the mediation or the medium of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and not through the medium of the Holy Quran because only the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was known to them through their books i.e. Hazrat Isa Alaihi Salam had said in Surah 61 verse 6 convey the glad news of the messenger who will come after me his name is Ahmed. Almighty Allah did not denounce the mediation, which was an acceptable act, but he rebuked the rejection of the Holy Prophet ﷺ. For this reason, the word upon them in brackets was not used here. Otherwise, some would have misunderstood, misunderstood this to mean the denouncement was due to accepting the mediation of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alayhi Wa Alihi Wasallam Verse 90 for what a miserable price they had sold themselves that they disbelieve in that Allah Almighty has revealed grudging out of jealousy that Allah Almighty out of his bounty would send down revelation upon whom he wills from amongst his servants so they become worthy of wrath upon wrath and for the infidels there is a humiliating punishment and in the commentary it is mentioned the rejection of faith is associated with their fate every human being is linked to a merchant a life is his place of business every breath of his life is its transaction which is decreasing with time he is using these breaths to purchase the deeds which are increasing all the time whosoever has purchased good deeds is a successful merchant while the one who is preaching evil deeds and infidelity is heading towards bankruptcy the Bani Israel were envious that the honor and the finality of the Prophet instead of being bestowed upon a Jew had been bestowed upon the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam it is out of his it is out of this envy that they had rejected the prophethood of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam from this one can learn that at the time or at the times of envy can become an obstacle in the acceptance of faith they were punished in different ways through various types of calamities which had befallen them. Sallu ala al-habib Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam